potential brand new wearable from Samsung. It's the Galaxy Ring, which I guess sort of is a competitor to the Aura Ring. Uh, what do we know about it? Yeah, this is a kind of a new space for tech companies, these kind of smart rings. And as you said, Aura is is kind of the, the chief company out there with one at the moment. Samsung will be rolling out their, their Galaxy Ring uh, in the future. They were showing it off as part of the Mobile World Congress event uh, in Barcelona. This is basically a health tracking uh, gadget that you know it acts as a ring. Uh, it can track you for multiple days. Uh, they haven't said exactly how long it will last, uh, but the, the benefit of something like this is it's not as bulky uh, or as you know, attention grabbing as a watch, um, but it does provide you with the ability to track your health, your uh, your sleep habits, your heart rate, things along those lines, and it's on you for the whole day. I mean, you know, it doesn't have to be charged too often. The Aura Ring can go several days without a, a charge, can track all of this kind of information. So this seems to be a way that more companies are going to be going, and oh yeah, uh, apparently, uh, according to uh, Mark Ehrman at Bloomberg, Apple is investigating uh, whether it wants to invest in a ring of its own. So it'll be interesting to see how the market responds to these. I actually saw an Aura ring uh, in the wild on the subway a few days ago. First time I saw one, but still it, it proves that people are out there buying them. It, that's an issue. You mentioned German with that, with that, or with it, uh, the idea here, Dan, that maybe Apple could get into it as well. Now, now, you know, Apple doesn't sort of, you know, hint at its product pipeline, maybe some other tech companies do, but what do you, what do you say? If you were to bet, you think that could be coming? It could be, honestly. I mean, it it feels as though it's something that they would explore. Apple explores all sorts of, of products and then, you know, just says, nah, we're not going to do it. Um, you know, the, the Apple Watch is the best selling smartwatch in the world. Um, if they start to see maybe a divergence in the, the, the uh, wearables kind of category where people are starting to pick up steam when it comes to purchasing these kinds of smart rings, then I, I would see Apple jumping in uh, to the arena. But right now it's it seems as though it's still a relatively niche market. Uh, and you know, when it came to the the Apple Watch itself, Fitbit already had, you know, a foothold in it. People had known about the technology. So it only made sense for them to get in uh, on that action. And it's done very well for them. The ring you know, it's still very hard to say whether or not Apple would do it. But like I said, they're, they are looking into it according to this report and uh, it just doesn't necessarily mean they're going to put a product on the market. All right, Dan, thank you very much. Appreciate it. It's interesting, these companies wanting to get into wearables, which yeah. hasn't been a huge, you know, as Dan sort of alluded to, it's been sort of a niche market. It hasn't been a huge market. And you look at some of the um, wrist wearables, like a whoop strap, for example, which, you know, I feel like there have been different trends in going up and down in, in these things being popular. And the other, the other tough part is you move into health, which you can understand why so many tech companies want to do, because that's an enormous market and an aging demographic and it checks all the right boxes. But the way, as you move into health, you often can run into patent trouble. You know, you start designing. We've, of course, seen, you know, Apple has run into that exact issue, right, uh, with Massimo. So the more you run in, the more you want health, it just seems to be a place where you can find legal trouble and regulatory trouble very quickly as well. Right, so we'll see if that becomes an issue with any of that.